Hey guys. So today we're going to learn how to uh, install Eclipse and also run our first program. So the first thing we have to do is obviously open up the web and then go to google.com. After you're navigated to Google, type in Eclipse. Clips download. <clears throat> Once you're here, obviously you're gonna have many options. Let's try to look for eclipse.org and then you can click on it. Once you're on the link, here, let me copy this for future reference as well. So once you guys are on the link, obviously there's multiple options available. You can either click directly on here or you can do download packages. So every click on download packages is gonna give you multiple different options, right? We don't really have to worry about all those things. <clears throat> if you take a look at this side on the right, it has Windows, Mac, Linux, and obviously all these different options are available. Uh, we don't need this. This is the enterprise edition. We don't really need that. Uh, that would be a paid version, I would say. So we don't really need to do anything with this. Um, we can either download this. This is a new one to uh, 2022 that came, uh, or we can just go with this. It's either one is fine. Eclipse IDE for Java developer. For, so I'm just gonna go ahead and download this. Once you start downloading, obviously you're going to have this thing. Again, if you wanna select another mirror, you don't have to do anything. It is that if you select this, it's just gonna give you this other options that you can select from, but just ignore it, I guess. Then you just hit download. Once you hit download, you don't need to do anything with this. So just a uh, donation that they're asking for. Uh, depending on the computer, you know, since I'm using Chrome, it downloads over here on Firefox, it usually downloads on the top. So this depends on which browser you're using. So on here, if I just go over here and show in folder, the first thing we have to do, obviously you have this, uh, ignore all this. And uh, what you can do, you can right click, and you can extract all. <clears throat> Once you hit extract all, you're gonna have another window open, you know, where you want to extract the file. I'll just leave it here as is by the default. So you just go extract, extracting. Okay, this means a little bit of time for extracting. It's a pretty big folder. It's nearly done. So depending on your computer, some of them it could be a little faster, some of them it could be a little slower. For me, it's taking about maybe like 30 to 45 seconds or so. Um, so again, it just depends on your computer. Um, yep, once you're done with this, just click over here, click on the folder, click on the extracted folder, click on Eclipse, and then obviously you have all of these different things. You don't really need to worry about all of those different things. The only one you have to worry about is this one that says Eclipse and application, not the one that says Eclipse SEC or Eclipse C. You don't have to worry about that. It's the one that has a little Eclipse logo in there and everything. So just go over there, double click, 
And once you double click, it should open up. Yeah, it opened up on my another screen. So here, I'll go ahead, I'll minimize this, minimize this. So you have this thing here, right? It's just a workspace that you want to do, you want to use. Uh, you can browse and you can just put it in a separate location as well. And if you want to go through this step every single time, then, well, don't select this checkbox in that case. But if you just want to keep it as the default one, in right now it's on C user, uh, Moham at Eclipse works, uh, high fan workspace. So just that is the default location I'm fine with. So in that case, I'll just select this, use this as a default and do not ask this again, because I just don't want, you know, to ask me, you know, reward to put in the file and whatnot. I'm okay with the default location. If you're not, you can just always browse it or create a new location, it's fine. Then launch. And once you hit launch, It will open up. Uh, right now, it's trying to open up the IDE. There you go. It opened. Let's expand this. So you have it here. And one thing uh, you know I can do over here. Oops, I don't need this. So let me just minimize this one. Yeah. So what I, one thing I can do, I can actually pin it over here. So I don't have to look for anywhere. Uh, let's put it next to all the other ones. <clears throat> and then you have this, you know, as just like a, what do you want to call this thing? This is basically the, the first time whenever you're here, it just gives you a little snapshot of, you know, if you want to go through some overview, some tutorials, some samples, and if you just want to hit, it's like a quick guide almost that you can go through over here. But, I don't need this, so I'll just hit this over here, hide. Um, and now let's just go ahead and create the first Java project. So I can either click over here, you know, create a Java, Java project, create a project, import a project, you know, whatever the case is. I can also go over here, file, new, and oops, file, new, and then I can also create, you know, project or Java project. This is since we're going to be talking about Java over here, I'm just going to go ahead and create a Java project. Again, you can do that, or you can also create over here. It doesn't matter. For the project name, um, you know, I can just put, let's say, Java tutorial. Yes, it's, that's totally fine. For this, obviously, there are multiple different options available. If you just want to do a quick check just to see which Java version you have, obviously, you can do that as well. Uh, so if I was to just bring this up, the command prompt, CMD, you can type in CMD here, and it'll just, you can just type in CMD over here, CMD, this command prompt, this will open up. Once this opens, you can just say Java. Java space hyphen version, that's the minus sign. Press enter. See, I have 17 over here, so I can just go ahead and use the 17. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> and yeah, let me just close this. So this is okay. Um, you have the project layout and everything, uh, uh, comments and all this other stuff. Uh, again, it's, it's just a default. I'll just leave it as a default. I don't need to do anything with this. Hit next. You have this again. You don't have to do anything with this. Hit finish, and now you have your Java tutorial project here. Again, obviously there's nothing in here right now, right? It's like I didn't create anything. There's nothing on the source. I just have this. Uh, I don't need this. I'm just go ahead and delete this. So this is Java info, Java Java info, a uh, module info Java. It's I don't need to do anything with this. It's uh, it's whatever. Um, so even if I leave it here, it doesn't matter. Um, I can just create a new one. So if I go source, let's go ahead and create a package first. Package is just to um, put this, put things together. You could say, but just for easier sake, let's just put that for now. Uh, let's just say intro. 
in Shartul Java or something like that. Right. Um, so with this, I don't really have to say put any other information right now. Uh, by convention, we usually put everything lowercase, but again, you know, if you want to put camel case or whatever, it's not a big deal. It'll still save. So intro to Java, I'm just going to leave it as that. Finish. And inside this package, I'll just create a new. So if you right click, right, if you go over here. So it's under source. Source is basically where the, all the code SRC, that's the source. That's where all the code goes. So if you right click this and click on new, and then you have all these different options over here. So we're not going to worry about all of this. I'm just going to create a class. So in this class, I can just say, hello world, right? And in here, again, as you can see, you know, I have this, where is this, so this source folder? Where is this located? It's the Java tutorials and then SRC. That's where it's located. Then package, I have this intro to Java. So everything is here. Then this thing, I just typed it over here. Name is hello world. And again, this super class interfaces, uh, don't worry about any of those for now. The modifiers, don't worry about, about any, of, any of those. Don't click on anything, just leave it public and leave it none over here. You don't have to, don't select abstract or packages or anything like that, or final. Which method stuff would you like to create? For here, again, you can leave it as this. Also select this first one, public static void main. That'll just create the method for you so we don't have to fight it but we can if we wanted to. So just click on there for now and then hit finish. Once you do this, as you can see right here on this first line, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, so on here, you have the packages and then you have intro to Java and then public class hello world. Hello world is the, is the this class that we created inside intro to Java package and then you have public static void main so you need this you know this main method in order for it to run basically and then strings uh brackets and then args so you basically need that you change any of this your code most likely will not work uh so let's just write our first line of hello world right System dot out dot print print So this print stream, this first one, don't select any of the just this first one is fine. And then you can just say hello world. Get uh some of the shortcuts and everything for all of this. We'll we'll show you later on. Um, I'll show you later on all the shortcuts, but for now, just you know, basically that's the command you need. System dot out dot print hello world. Hello world is basically I can put whatever I want, doesn't matter. Uh let's just start off with that hello world, right click, uh run as see, run as and then Java application. And then you have this thing. Uh make sure this is selected and then shoot okay. Once you do okay, and it just gives you this hello world. Basically, this is right now we know that our program is actually working, right? If there's no problems or anything like that. It is working. Now we can go ahead and start coding. I mean, over here, if I want to put more and more and more, I mean, that is totally cool, right? I can uh, I can say whatever I want. Uh, if I was to put instead of this, right? I just copy that line basically. I don't want to type it again. So over here, if I was to put I don't know, let's say five plus two, something like that, right? Again, IDE is already smart enough to determine that we're trying to add over here, add integers or numbers. So if I was to run this again, so this time it'll give me both hello world and five plus two, which would be seven, as you can see right here. So yeah, as you continue this, um, uh, tutorial so yeah uh, you know we'll definitely go into it much more both uh yeah in in using eclipse as well yeah thank you so much guys if you have any questions please do let me know please do comment and share and subscribe thanks so much guys have a good one